The first discipline for building a healthy organization is the creation of a cohesive leadership team at the top. Whether we're talking about a corporation or a department within that corporation or any type of organization, the people in charge have to be behaviorally cohesive. I talk about this in my book, The Five Dysfunctions of a Team, and I go into it in the advantage as well. And let me really quickly review that model with you. So there are five behaviors that a cohesive team has to master. The first is they have to trust one another. But when I talk about trust, what I'm talking about is they have to become vulnerable with one another. They have to be completely honest about their strengths, weaknesses. They have to be able to apologize and acknowledge what they're not good at. By building trust, they put themselves in a position to embrace the next behavior, which is conflict. Good, healthy, productive conflict is a sign of a great team. A cohesive team has to be able to argue, but because they trust one another, they know that that argument is nothing but the pursuit of truth. That conflict allows them to actually achieve real commitment. They can walk away from a discussion knowing that people are really bought into the decision, not just passively agreeing, but they really truly are committed. Commitment is necessary to embrace the next critical behavior, which is accountability. Because they know that their peer is committed to something, they're going to have the courage to hold them accountable to what they've committed to. And finally, accountability is what allows them to embrace the final, the final characterization of a great team, which is the attention to results. Rather than their individual needs of their department, they're committed to the collective results of the team. So the results come about through accountability. Accountability is possible because there's been commitment. Commitment can be achieved because of conflict, and conflict is possible because people trust one another. And that is the first discipline of a healthy organization.